Okay, in this video, what I want to review is metric conversions. And there's a saying that'll help you if you can remember it. And um, there's a bunch of different sayings, but to remember the prefixes, I would uh, come up with a saying or remember a saying like, King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. Sounds silly, but it, it'll help you hopefully remember those prefixes. So it's King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. So here's what the letters would stand for. You have a K, King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. Okay, so here's the prefixes. The B here, we'll see, stands for what we say is the base unit. And that would be, depends on what we're measuring. That could be grams, it could be liters, it could be meters. Okay, so what does this mean? These are the prefixes. This is kilo, this is hecto, this is deca, this is deci, centi, and milli. Okay, so what that means is you could have, um, let me switch colors here, you could have kilograms, you could have kiloliters, you could have kilometers. So it all goes back to this base unit. These are all just prefixes that you add to that base unit depending on what you're measuring. So the K means a thousand. You're multiplying these by a thousand, basically. Then you could have hectoliters, hectograms, excuse me, hectoliters, and hectometers. Deca here is um, DA, so it could be DAG, DAL, or DAM. Deci would just be DG, DL, or DM. This could be centigrams, centiliters, centimeters and finally we can have milligrams this is a thousand times smaller milliliters or millimeters okay so here's the, the meaning of these prefixes this is what they mean so now you can find using this list you can find where our starting point is and what we're going to do is count the number of places we're going to move the decimal so we have a decimal here as you can see in this one and 56.3 centimeters, how many millimeters? What we have to do is we have to start at centi right here, and we're going to go over to milli. So we have to move that decimal place over one to the right. So if we start here, I'll just write it over here. If we have 56.3, there's our decimal place, we have to move this one space to the right from centi to milli. And at our new number then would be 563 millimeters. Okay? Let's try the next one. You have, I'll just rewrite it here so we can take a look at the decimal place movement. 356.8. We're going from milliliters to liters. So milliliters is right here, and I'm going to go over to liters. So I have to move that decimal place one, two, three to the left. So now I'm going to move it one, two, three to the left. My new number then would be point. There's my decimal point three five six eight liters. Okay. Next one we have six hundred seventy three point one grams. How many kilograms? All right. So I'll write it over here again. Point one, and I have to go from grams, which is right here, to kilograms. I'm going to move that decimal place one, two, three to the left three to the left, one, two, three to the left, and my new number now is point, you could also put a zero here, just like up here you can put a zero or you don't need it if you don't want to put it, six, seven, three, one, so zero point six seven three one, or point six seven three one. Okay, final one here. We have, now we start with a decimal place right here, and we're going from meters to centimeters. And be careful, don't go from this end. This is milli. You have to go from meters down here. Again, meters for length. Meters over to centimeters is going to move it two to the right. So we're going to move it one, two to the right. Now be careful here. This new number is equals 67.3. Don't put that zero there. That zero goes away. This zero goes away, so you don't need that. I'm going to erase that. You don't need that. 
So it's 67.3. The zero gets dropped out. It's gone. And your new number for this one would be 67.3. One last thing I'll mention here. Um, if we had another problem over here, let's just make a problem number five. And let's just say it said um, 47 meters equals blank number of centimeters. Sometimes students are confused where is the decimal with this whole number. Any whole number, for any whole number, for this 47 for example, the whole number, the decimal is right behind there. So you could put, always put a zero there or add other zeros behind it depending on how many place values you're, you're talking about, how much accuracy you're looking for. So there's where the decimal would be on a whole number. So that's something to keep in mind if you have a problem like that. So since we have this one here, let's take a look at that. Meters to centimeters, we'd be going from meters here to centimeters. We have to move the decimal two to the right, one, two. So I'd move the decimal one, two, and now my new number is going to be 4,700. So I hope that review will help you when you're getting stuck on some of these metric conversions.